Welcome to the Fraud Prevention Plugin. So yes, in this plugin, I will show you how to block the fraud customers by placing an order on your site. So there are two ways you can block during the registration or during the place and order. And here are the type you want to block based on the billing or shipping address, or you can select both one. And here's also the automatic blacklist. It will be based on the rule set we defined based on our business need. I will show you later on. So next one is email. So here you can add the list of emails that you want to block. Like I have added hello, hi, guest, admin, one, two, three, QA. So this all type of email ID will be blocked during the place and order. And you can also set like first name, last name, IP address, domain, domain extension like in my company.com, hello.com, whatever type of extension is, it blocks. You can also set the specific user, state, country, zip code, mobile number, and shipping zone and user role. And based on the, all the criteria, you can set your own message over here. And you can also utilize this default for each. Let's save the settings. And uh, now we move on the rules. So if you have enabled the auto, -block, auto blocking, then you can set your own rule weight that will be added in your risk scorecard. So for example, if you set specific like if take the customer's first order, then you want to add the risk as a five rule weight. Same for the another tight area as you can see for proxy IP address is different, is order is international, then 10 will be the rule weight. And there are the species email address and domains that you can add over here. I will have already added over here. So you can utilize and if you need to track, you just need to click over here like this, then it will enable this feature. And uh, you can also block some specific country like I have just selected as a Japan. So if any order from this country, then it will set as a 70 as a full weight. And you can also block some too many attempts in within fraction of time like if there are any bot attacks you can block by enabling this feature and uh, second one is general setting so there are two way we can block like you want to block before placing an order or you need to manage from the admin side based on the risk you need to change the order detector like uh, cancel on hold so this if you have made this change like as a tick then it will directly block on the checkout. So here is the scorecard. Like if it will automatically cancel if above the 90 and is on hold if above 70. And there are the 25 will be the medium risk and 75 plus will be the high risk. And you can also send the notification to the admin if there are any email or any order from the high risk. Uh, so let's get started how it will work so you can get a better idea about it. So yes, I will just adding few products in the cart. Few cart. Check out. So yes. So first I will add the email ID with blocking. So like uh, admin, we already blocked this email ID. And once user place an order, then it will showcase the message. This email ID has been blocked. And for example, now I select the country that is blocked I will add the details about the country and here I will add now the correct email ID but uh, this country is blocked so once less an order it will show like web administrator does not allow to press an order that message we already configured over here you can customize as per your business need so these are the setting uh, it will display the directly to the customers but if you do not want to display over here and directly need to manage from the admin area so you just need to uncheck this option and just save the settings so now it will not block at the front side like now i place an order with the same thing so you can see the order has been placed like 260 is order id so let's now see in the admin side so here let's refresh so you can see the order has been placed to 60 and order automatically cancelled because it's displayed the risk 
so let's see in the details so you can get idea like you can see the risk is 90% on risk so that's why we have configured over here it will automatically cancel if the 90 or above so that's why it's automatically cancel and here you can see the risk detail like uh, what are the risks so this is the customer's first order and another one is order is from the risk country and billing form number does not match with the billing country so these are the criteria so based on that admin can an idea i need to approve or proceed or i need to cancel or refund whatever you need to admin need to take action based on the, the risk they can do so yes uh, this way this uh, plugin is useful for the admin to prevent different different customers based on the different criteria and they can configure all the settings based on their business need so i hope this video is helpful to you so please renew and thanks for watching the video thank you